You know, I think that um, it's the whole package, you know, more so than, than maybe any other place in the country. I think that uh, obviously you have the academic piece, uh, and it's second to none. The education you're going to get here and the, and the fact that when you come to William & Mary and you graduate, uh, you're going to be able to do whatever it is that you want with your life. And, uh, you know, you can't go wrong. Uh, you know, you add that to the athletic piece, certainly in, in our situation, the baseball piece, getting a chance to play in a great conference with some with some really good teams and some nice facilities um, at a, you know a very high level of Division One baseball. Um, on top of that, I, I think the campus life and, and the campus itself is amazing. You know, certainly a lot of history here, and second oldest college in the country. But you know, I, to me, when you walk around campus, the feeling that you get it, it's what a college campus should be like. And, and I think that uh, you know our guys are very lucky to have that. As a, as a piece to the puzzle as well in the whole Williamsburg area. You know, I've been here for a year now. The place is fantastic and, and, and the people here are great. And I, I think that's the other thing about this school and this athletic department is, you know, the people that we have here in, in all the roles, you know, even outside of coaching, you know, from, from getting to know those guys over the last year, whether it be from, you know, this, the strength and training f facilities and, and the people working down in that department to, to the SIDs, to the, um, you know, to admission people, to um, our academic people, to our compliance people, to our secretaries, all those people have you know, really gone out of their way to make me feel welcome here and, and I think do a heck of a job in their own particular areas which allow us as coaches to, to succeed. Yeah, I mean the facilities are first class here, no doubt about it. I mean certainly from a from a baseball standpoint, having Plumeri Park, it, I mean we're very lucky. Um, it's as nice as a f nice of a facility as there is in the region, and uh, we just redid the whole playing surface here last year. Uh, it plays great, it drains great. Uh, we have everything else around it to help us as well for skill development purposes. You know, with the batting cages, we have outdoor cages, covered cage. Uh, you know, give our guys an opportunity to get better as players. A clubhouse here that they can spend some time down at the park. Um, so I think all those things certainly help us from a baseball standpoint. Uh, I think it's a really nice place to watch a game. It's very fan friendly. Um, you know, the, the atmosphere here with the lights and, and kind of the, the, the whole presentation that we put on during games. I think it's a good atmosphere for fans young and old to come check it out and check out a good brand of college baseball. So uh, we're very lucky to have Plumeri Park. And in addition to that, the, you know, the weight room that Coach Sauer has built down there, you know, our guys you know are able to get the most out of that facility um, and the other athletic facilities that we have on campus certainly allow our guys to to get better as baseball players and all our athletes to get better I think in addition to that you know as you mentioned that the academic facilities that we have here are second to none and I think they allow our guys to pursue their goals in the classroom and to get the help that they need uh, with their classes here um, you know whether it's with uh, the tutor center or writing center or the study hall, um, you know, I think Jason Sims does a great job putting all that stuff together and all our guys have the resources that they need to develop both in and out of the classroom and on and off the field. So we want to attract good people. I think that's first and foremost. We want to attract guys that, that want to come in here and commit to something and, and that want to be part of something special but are, are willing to, you know, to buy into the system, that are willing to be a good teammate to each other, that are willing to be coachable from our end. Certainly, you know, having done this for 15 years, it, this coaching thing's a lot more enjoyable when you have guys around that, that are good people, you know, that you enjoy being around. You spend a lot of time with these guys and those relationships that you develop with those players, that, that's really what it's all about. And I think, you know, we want to bring guys in that are going to buy into the system and, and have that same type of approach as far as how they deal with other people in the program. Uh, you know, at the same time, I think we also want to bring guys in that are competitive, as we mentioned before, and we want guys that, that want to win and, and just as much hate to lose. You know, I, I think that's one of the things I, I, that from my, from my own experiences, I, I certainly love to win, but I think it bothers me more to lose, and I think that's what drives me a little bit to make sure that we spend that extra time in the office or spend that extra time out on the road because, uh, you know, I'm scared of losing. I don't want to see it happen. Um, 
but I think that if we can get those competitive guys, that helps them on the field. It helps us get be them get better as individual players. It helps us get better as a team, and it also helps them in the classroom to compete with some of the other students that we have here at William & Mary. And then when they get out of school here, it helps them compete in the workforce, you know, in, in whatever area they're trying to get into and work their way up the ladder in that profession. So I think that competitiveness is something that we want to bring into the program and we want to try to continue to develop when those guys are here.